Los días 25 y 26 de junio, el filósofo australiano Peter Singer visitó Barcelona, donde ofreció dos conferencias en el Centro de Cultura Contemporánea enmarcadas en las jornadas dedicadas a Josep Egozque, organizadas por la Fundación Víctor Grifuls y Lucas. El acto fue conducido por la Catedrática de Filosofía y Ética Victoria Camps, presidenta de la Fundación Grifuls, y contó con una notable asistencia de público. Tras la ponencia, el autor de Liberación Animal, libro considerado de referencia para el movimiento de derechos animales, atendió diferentes preguntas del público. Peter Singer, que va a ser un referente para mucha gente, ya hace unos cuantos años, en el año 75, fins el año 90, eh, se ha quedado de referente porque el conjunto del movimiento animalista a nivel mundial no ha avanzado gaire, disortadamente. Y en Sem Perdut, en, en debates de tipos muy secundarios. Hoy lo que he constatado es que, desde un punto de vista teórico, el movimiento está estancado y él representa un sector. Es verdad que ni hay otras personas de una gran talla intelectual que cuestionan los límites de Peter Singer, pero también a un nivel de un debate muy situado a nivel literario, a nivel de universidad. Pero el que han de ser capaz de, de volar el conjunto del movimiento animalista, que han de ser capaces entre todos y todos de ganar muy más allá. Peter Singer a mí me genera una cierta ambivalencia porque por una banda efectivamente eh, gracias al seu libro eh, Liberación Animal que va a ser un libro que va a surtir al 75 pero que no se va a traducir al castellano fins 15 años más tarde entonces mucha gente ha comenzado a pensar en incluir los animales dentro del ámbito de lo moral Muchas de las dadas que él da en su libro han servido para que la gente tenga consciencia. El argumento de hem de respetar los animales porque tienen capacidad de patir es quelcom insuficiente para conseguir cambios realmente radicales porque gairebé es obvi que los animales pateixen. Hem de ir más allá. O sigui, Peter Singer ha donat un cop un impulso muy importante para el animalismo, pero en cara queda muy para para recorrer. Muchos filósofos han en cara de reflexionar y donar aquellos argumentos definitivos que permiten un cambio radical, on los intereses de los animales eh, tengan un lloc molt más grande. España es el país de bullfighting the most famous Spanish tradition, but also is the most controversial. Uh, a lot of philosophers, celebrities in Spain, say bullfighting is an essential part of our culture. So what do you think about this? Well, I think that all cultures can change and develop, and I think uh, cultures should change and develop. And uh, there are many cultural practices which now we are ashamed of. I mean, every culture, I think, had practices that now it would be ashamed of in terms of you know, racist practices like slavery or practices about the treatment of woman, women. And I don't think anybody would want to defend them in terms of saying, you know, this was part of our culture. I mean, imagine if people in Alabama or Mississippi said that um, racism towards African Americans is part of our culture, people would nobody would accept that for a moment. So if bullfighting is a cruel practice, as I think it clearly is, then uh, if it is a part of Spanish culture, it's a part that Spanish culture would be better off without. Animal rights movement took off in Spain later than other West countries, but now it's getting on and it's getting stronger. Two years ago, after a shocking investigation about four farms in northwest Spain, some animal rights activists were arrested like terrorists after a very big um, security police operation. Mm -hmm. What do you think about this repression to this movement, this movement in Spain? Well, this is obviously an attempt to intimidate a growing movement, to frighten it into not being active. We saw exactly the same thing happen in Austria, where I happen to have just come from. Um, animal rights activists in Austria, who were completely peaceful, non-violent, spent uh, months in prison without even being convicted of anything, just waiting for trial. So um, I think the public needs to be made aware that the government is abusing these uh, criminal processes uh, 
in cases where they are not dealing with criminals at all, they are dealing with legitimate political activity. Um, what do you think about the animal rights movement in Spain, and especially in Catalonia, where we had some important victories as bullfighting abolition, and probably the next one will be the abolition of using animals in circus? Well, I think it's excellent that uh, Catalonia has taken the lead in banning bullfighting within Spain. I think that sets an example not only for the rest of Spain, but for other places where there is still bullfighting taking place. Um, and of course, the uh, getting rid of the use of animals in circuses um, is also an important victory. Um, I think it's really important, though, to carry through with this and also to look particularly at the treatment of animals uh, used for food. and. The movement, therefore, needs to encourage uh, Spanish people to try to reduce their meat eating or to avoid eating animal products altogether. Um, I've noticed walking around Barcelona that it's actually quite hard even to get a vegetarian um, meal in just, you know, ordinary restaurants. They don't seem to have the options on the menu as much as they do in some other European countries. So I hope that uh, activists in Catalonia will also focus on that in trying to make uh, vegetarian or vegan options more widely available for people. Thank you very much. Good. Thanks very much. Thank you. Okay.